By you? I just like paying drums. Just like paying drums. <laughs> okay. Just when I saw the group perform, I was like, oh my gosh, it's really cool. And when I started, it just came together as a family. I think that's really cool. Well, for me, it's totally different because coming back from um, a background from North Africa, we've never played doll before. So once my son wanted to start it, I was. I really wanted to let him choose and then it was the best thing that we've done because lately, I don't know if you've seen it, but in North Africa they are actually mixing uh, Bollywood with Arabic music and it's working really fab. So we are here to talk about our um, passion for Dawn um, and why we chose to play for Eternal Gal and what we love about Pav and why we chose this group. Um, obviously everyone is from different age groups, so um, Tanya, why have you chose Eternal Gal? Um, I chose Eternal Gal because I think it's different, especially for females playing it. I thought it was probably like, a great opportunity and I'm like glad I've joined it because there's not much females out there that have opportunities like this and I'm so glad I can represent females in this way. I just wanted to play a different instrument. I wanted to play different instruments, similar. Because when I was little, um, Paul used to come to my house, she used to play at it. So then one day on Christmas she bought me a doll so I started. Um, Fantastic. We are doing a Channel 5 documentary series interview with the Channel 5 and we're going to be rehearsal with the camera crew and we're going to come back straight up.
And Paul is, um, she, she gets so much energy and drive on when she's playing um, in, in the band, in the group, um, and play, drumming and dancing. But she's, um, she's got so many strings to her bow. She's a computer science lecturer in the day. She has, um, you know, over 16 year olds. She's trying to teach them A level um, computing. Um, and then in the night she's just wild, um, you know, dancer and singer and drummer. And she just she has those two sort of uh, personalities, but she she wants to make a difference. So when when Park plays that big doom drum at the door, it's her passion. That vibration she exudes into the drumming, you can feel that in your soul. I mean, I remember being in Dubai, just finished the 10k, and she was called to say, Park, please come on stage, start the drumming, get the crowd going. I just completed the 10k, and I felt like I had no energy, but I wanted to run to her. I, she just, she's like a magnet. In our culture, Asian culture, girls not allowed into the music line. They're not allowed to go out at night time, come back late. In our culture, it's not allowed. In Sikh religion, I'm Sikh. In Sikh religion, girl and boy are equal. Equal. No different between girl and boy. I treat them as boy. There. So, so in my eyes, girls are same as boys. So, the, I open the door for the Asian girls. I put the girl face their boys. <laughs> she more famous than me. <laughs> How proud are you? I'm very proud of that. She putting the, it's not only putting my name into the public. It's the, all the Bowman ladies, girls going in. She, all the people when they see her playing music with me, then they, they, they open the door, open the door for other girls, so they can they can join her. I think I've got a lot of passion for it. I fell into the Bangor industry, um, so my passion comes through. So when youngsters from the age of six onwards, uh, we teach nine hours a week, when they see that passion, I think they develop that motivation. It's like, you know what? If she can do it, I can do it. And that's probably why we've got such a huge interest. And when people from outside the group see us perform, like we've got Glastonbury, the BBC One show, we've done the Graham Norton show, House of Commons. When people from outside our circle look in, they're just just mind blown because it's such a powerful instrument. And we've got eight year olds to, you know, ages of 30 plus, just doing what we love. It's, Hang on, hang on! Hang on! Hi, I'm Jazz. Um, we got Prit Pal. Yes. Prit Pal this week. Okay. Oh, We're here at Channel Five oh, yeah. um, to perform on the Jane McDonald show. Can you believe Amazing. it? Amazing. Can you believe it? Jane McDonald. Uh, the venue's lovely. Some lights, camera, action. It's all going on. And all this thanks to Pav and her hard work. Oh, thanks. We guys. love you, Pav. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm listening to him as well. I'm outside my dressing room. I'm gonna know. <laughs> Good chairs. This is our dressing room, guys. Yes, yes it is. Yeah. Mr. Pip Palsing, our uniform. Is he? As always. How are you guys doing? How are you feeling? What was it like seeing the dancers? Amazing. I feel so like celebrities right now. Look at this. Come on. Famous. Come on. Yes. 
So we are now going to backstage to our Jane McDonald actual performance now. We've got our dance group ready, we've got our doll players ready, and we are going to be smashing it on Jane McDonald's show in about half an hour. And we've gone the wrong way, but it doesn't matter because we're ready to roll. They can't start without us. Yes, yes, let's do this. Everybody smile. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? Are you excited? They're excited, they're excited. Very excited, can't wait. We've got the Crudem. Crudem, say hi, Crudem. Hi, how are you feeling, guys? How are you feeling? Good. Yeah, excited. Ready to go, ready to go. <laughs> Jazzy B at the back. We've got like the crew backstage, all are at the back. Hey guys, we are in the green room and we've done our performance. And we've got the whole band, the backstage crew, the producers. We had an amazing time performing with Jane McDonald and it's been an amazing experience. And as a team, we have done so well um, and we can't wait for it to air on TV. Definitely we can.